Ha ha. I'm glad that they dropped that dumb stop woke thing that she tried to peddle out there. Ron to Satan. The, the, the snowflake. These are the same. He's the same kind of cat that will talk about freedom of speech and the First Amendment. But yet he wants to basically like outlaw any black person from speaking about their experiences and teaching the truth about the American history. When it comes to black people. And wants to criminalize that. What a bloody hypocrite, man. Seriously. You know, I mean, <laughs> snowflakes like him have that phony outrage with their lost cause. What a perfect word. Yeah, he's a lost causer right now when it comes to that. Lost cause, for all you guys that don't know, it's these dumb Confederate idiots that try to basically like retell the Confederacy in, in, in ways that are less provocative, I guess you can, so they would say, or they try to have a heroic spin on it when it wasn't. So yeah, this clown is basically trying to do the same thing with his stop woke act. What? Yeah. You're basically trying to drum up some BS to, to, <laughs> to, 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 to really like <clears throat> peddle this racist ideology that you have. And you know what? May it backfire on you. May your political career go down because of it. Devils like him need to be out of office. They don't need to represent this country because if you believe in diversity of this country, well, some of these people don't. But when it comes to realizing the truth and what this country claims to stand on, like a lot of racists like this devil right here, it's not going to be looking great. And I'll say this. You can't have a whitewashed tomb for too long because things rot from the inside and will show outwardly. So I'm glad that this clown's bill got struck down. Um, and what I'm saying right now made things unravel as far as his political career, lest he repent. Because this is seriously ridiculous. I mean, he's basically trying to criminalize black speech, black history, black life, and an education of what our experiences have been as black Americans. So yeah, you already know my opinion about him. <laughs>